And in other news, it's the reason police across Northeast Ohio have set up safe places for people to meet up. But people continue to get robbed when completing those online sales or even worse. That's what happened to a teen in Stowe last night. As our Bob Jones shows us, the victim told police he was shot while trying to sell shoes. The aftermath has left neighbors feeling very nervous. I heard what I think was about six shots very fast, very, very loud. Rachel Snyder, who has four kids between the ages of two and 12, was stunned by the sound of gunfire right outside her front window on Adeline Drive in Stowe. I kind of gathered up my boys and we ran into one of our back rooms and I, I called the officers and it was very scary. And Rachel believes it's possible one of the bullets hit a white post on her front porch. I mean, it's just a couple of feet from going through your window. Yeah. A neighbor across the street, Bob Selman, They're just bang, 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 bang like that. Also heard the gunfire just before 7 p.m. last night and then spotted the possible getaway car. I ran to the door here and look out and the, a black car just zoomed right down the road. According to Stowe Police, a 19 year old man who also lives in the neighborhood was trying to sell tennis shoes and made online arrangements to meet a potential buyer. Instead, shots were fired in the street and the victim was struck in the arm. Captain Brian Snavely says he was taken to an Akron hospital with non life threatening injuries. Anytime somebody there's a shooting, there's obviously life threatening action being done and uh, we're lucky in this case he was uh, non life threatening injuries. Snavely says the gunman took off in a dark colored sedan. Detectives are now following leads, but no suspects identified yet. We are working on collecting video if there is a video available. So if somebody does have video available of that area, we would encourage them to reach out to us. Police say the shooting underscores the importance of being careful and meeting up in a public place when buying or selling items. It's important to let somebody in your circle know what you're doing and where you're going to be. Uh, if you can have somebody with you at the time, that's a good idea. Another tip, use an internet exchange location like this one right outside the Stowe Police Department. It's monitored 24 hours a day by surveillance cameras. Meantime, those living on Adeline Drive hope the person who caused the chaos is found. Nothing like this has ever happened as far as I know. Not around here. And arrested soon. So we really hope that they get caught because it's hard to feel safe in our home now. In Stowe, Bob Jones, News 5.